Hey, it's Maya with Gung Ho Eco, and I am in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico right now. A lot of tourists like to come to Cabo for a little bit of this. I've been visiting Mexico since I was a little girl. My name is Maya, so obviously I have a deep respect for Mayans and for the culture of Mexico. Mexico is a very vulnerable place due to climate change. The New York Times, PBS, and other publications have talked about Mexico City's rising water crisis as people drill deeper and deeper for more water on ancient clay beds, the more the city sinks. But Mexico City is miles from the coast. Here in Cabo, we are right on the coast. And what do the coasts face because of climate change? Rising sea levels, and then this desert also faces extreme drought. Too much water and too little. All over Mexico, states are struggling with water scarcity due to water consumption and crops in a desert-like environment. Look at this. This is the desert. When we flew into Cabo, all you could see from the plain were these dry riverbeds with not an ounce of water in them leading to the ocean. Tourism that depends on coasts will dry up as the seas rise. Coral reefs will be bleached and destroyed, which leads to a destruction of the fishing industry. Intense dry spells reduce crop yields, causing agriculture-dependent societies to look for work elsewhere. And where do you think the Mexicans and tourists will go to when that happens? That's right, they'll go to the US, or they'll not visit Mexico. Mexicans will continue to emigrate north because of floods, droughts, and rising waters. A 2010 study by a climate scientist found that 6.7 million Mexicans would emigrate to the US by the year 2080. And some Georgetown experts believe that climate migration will be a heavy problem from Central America as well. So come here while you can. Come to Mexico before it has the worst impacts of climate change. I personally would love if Mexicans, more Mexicans came to the United States because los Mexicanos son una gente valiente y hermosa. This is real. This is something that is going to be happening. Big picture. The good news is Mexicans are a diverse, dynamic population that are already responding really well to climate change. Mexicans did ratify the Paris Treaty. Let's hope that it will go beyond just making laws and to actually enforcing them. Let's hope that it's enough.